War II involved many, many generals, including some of the greatest military minds in modern history. But unfortunately for the Allies, not all of these generals were brilliant. There were several cases of World War II where military leaders displayed stunning incompetence, which led to defeat in the best of cases. In this video, we'll be talking about one such general, Semyon Budyonny of the USSR. Budyonny was a cavalryman born during the days of the Russian Empire. He fought in the Russo-Japanese War and eventually became a cavalry officer. As part of a reserve dragoon cavalry battalion, he fought in World War I against both the Germans and the Turks. He won several military accolades during the war, including the St. George Cross. With the outbreak of the Russian Civil War, Budyonny was recalled and made deputy commander of the 1st Socialist Cavalry Regiment. Budyonny supported the Bolsheviks and became acquainted with Joseph Stalin around this time. Budyonny's cavalry were instrumental in the Bolshevik victory in the Russian Civil War and was responsible for driving General Denikin of the White Army away from Moscow. In 1919, he officially joined the Bolshevik party. Now, although Budyonny was considered a hero of the newly formed USSR and became a member of Stalin's inner circle when he took power, the pride obviously went to his head and he became vehemently opposed to modern war tactics. Budyonny opposed the entire modernization of the Russian military, especially when it came to tanks and armored cavalry, which he considered drastically inferior to proper cavalry in many ways. In 1937, Budyonny even went as far as to denounce and order the execution of the Red Army's most innovative tank officer, which crippled Soviet tank tactics and strategies for years to come, seriously hindering Russia's early war effort. Due to Budyonny's close relationship with Stalin, however, he escaped virtually every political purge and was allowed immense political power as well. When Operation Barbarossa started, the incompetent general, still fully rooted in his old ways, was for some reason given the extremely important task of commanding two fronts in the Ukraine that would bear the brunt of the German invasion. As you would expect, due to his arrogance and the lack of understanding of modernized warfare and tactics, the two fronts of Uman and Kiev were quickly swallowed up by the Germans and led to a devastating defeat that put Russia on the back foot for months and months to come. Budyonny's actions led to millions of unnecessary deaths by creating a snowball effect that the Germans fully utilized. Soviet High Command and Stalin himself eventually realized the stupidity and lack of understanding of Budyonny and relieved him from command. Unlike most incompetent generals, however, Budyonny was not executed for his ineptitude in battle, although he was fully blamed for it. Stalin, however, still considered him a loyal early war hero and appointed him to a number of ceremonial leadership positions on other fronts and used him as a propaganda piece for the rest of the war. Despite the fact that Budyonny stunted Soviet tank progress for years, led to the decimation of Russia's early fronts and in all honesty nearly cost them the war, he never received any real punishments from the Soviets and was essentially immune due to his status as a war hero and as Stalin's personal friend. Budyonny, unlike many other Russians after the war, lived a fairly quiet life breeding horses. Fitting, I know, until he eventually died of a brain hemorrhage in 1973. As per usual guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'm always interested in hearing your guys' war stories in the comments section below, so make sure you chuck them down there so I can have a read of them and so other people can have a read of them. They're always so interesting. And just before you go, please do consider donating to our Patreon as it does help this channel function, especially considering that we get limited ad revenue due to the nature of our content. So that is very much appreciated guys. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new.